very moment that Peter took his eyes off of Jesus, he began to say, oh, you know what? He said, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. And I tell you, Jesus Christ had to rest his hand up. I thank God we've got a God people that in your mouth. People that in your store. Glory to God. And he's here tonight to bless you. Glory to God. Oh, give a little hand clap to him. Glory to God. Oh, I feel the spirit here tonight. Glory to God. If you have your Bibles tonight, turn with me to Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4, beginning at verse 14. See, we have a great, a great high priest. Yeah. A priest church that we need all the time. Praise yeah, God. Amen. She used to be, the Bible tells us that the priest had to pray and had to go through everything that the, that the natural people did. And they had to pray and sacrifice and everything. But church, we got was already paid the sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, we through all the rituals, glory to God. And we got a priest that we could go to at all times. Mm -hmm. I'm going to preach on that. I'm sticking with Jesus. Or I'm going to go over Jesus. You can say either one. I'm going over Jesus or yeah. I'm sticking with Jesus. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm sticking with Jesus. Glory to God. You know why, church? He's your help when you need help. Amen. I said he's your help when you need, when you need some help. There's times, church, Amen. that we have to look to Jesus that, and we've got, a, we've got a place that we can run to. We've got, a, we've got someone we can call out to. He, that's who he is tonight. Praise God. He's always there to help us and to lift us up in the strength of us. In the time of our weakness, all we got to do is call upon Jesus. In the time of our troubles and times of fears, all we got to do is call upon Jesus. Amen. You know why, church? Because he's the mediator. He's the one that stands between amen, us and God. Yeah. And church, he's there to take care of us. I mean, this is what I'm saying. Because church is a God that never changes. Yeah. Well, this is what the Bible says. See that we have a great high priest that passed into the heavens. Jesus, all oh, great glory of Jesus, the Son of God. Glory to God. Let us hold fast our profession, for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. But in all points tempted like we are, yet without sin, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. Amen. I want you to know something, church. He said, praise God, that he went through everything, amen, that we go through. If you're hurting tonight, Jesus hurt. If you're going through something tonight, through a storm, Jesus went through your, some storm. He was, Bible said he was attempted in all things. And church says he never failed. And thank God because he never fails, we can look to him, glory to God. And church, as long as you stick with Jesus, you're going to be all right. Can I say that again? As long as you're going to stick with Jesus, you're going to be all right. You know why, church? The Bible says he never changes. He's the same yesterday. He's going to be the same today. And he's going to be the same tomorrow. All you've got to do realize, church, that you just stick with Jesus because he's the author and the finisher of your faith. He's going to see you through it. But church, people begin to look like, like old poor Peter did. He took his eyes off of Jesus. And the very minute you take your eyes off of Jesus at the time of troubles and the time of your storms, I do tell you, you're going to fail. But all oh, glory to God, if you keep your eyes on Jesus and make your mind up, I'm going to stick with Jesus. In my storm, I'm going to stick with Jesus. In a time of my sorrow, I'm going to stick with Jesus. In a time when I face those giants, I'm going to stick with Jesus. That's all you got to do, church, is stick with Jesus. I made my mind up a long time ago. I'm going to stick with Jesus. I'm on my way to heaven, brother Kelly. Praise God. And I actually praise God. I'm looking for that day. And there's going to be a meeting in the air. The Bible says that God's going to look at his son and, and say, Son, go and get him. And I'm here to tell you, I'm ready for that sin. And only the people that's ready to go and keep their eyes up on Jesus are going to go when that trumpet sounds. I'll give them all the head clap. Oh, Lord, I'm thinking of Jesus. You know what, church? He's my help. Yeah. In the time I need him, yes. he's my mercy. Yes. Times of when I fell, times of, amen, I need God's love and God's arm to put around me. Church, there's times that the, the old devil sometimes gets ahead of us and, and sometimes tries us to, to cause us to be to, to have fear. Sir, I think people, you'd be surprised at the people that have fear anymore. But you know what, church, you keep your eyes up on Jesus, he's there with his mercy. I said he's there with his mercy Amen. and he's there with his grace. Amen. And I'm here to tell you, church, he'll wrap his arms around you Amen. and you can feel the mercy. Amen. I said you can feel the mercy. Amen. He'll wrap your arms around you and you can feel the grace of God. Amen. I'm 
Well, you listen to what I'm trying to say tonight, church. We've got to stick with Jesus because when we stick with Jesus, He'll put His arms around you. And when you're so weak, you don't feel like you can make it, He'll give you glow up. I'm about to get happy to hear I said, He'll give you the strength to make it. Glory to God. All you got to do is keep your eyes up on Jesus. He'll never fail you. He'll never let you go. And He'll go with you all the way. He's the author and the finish of you. Oh, give away the hell for church. What the Bible says. See, we can come boldly. I said we can come yeah, boldly yeah, to the yeah. throne of God. Yeah, it used to be if we were the Gentiles, we couldn't go to the throne yeah, of God. Yeah, well, thank God for Jesus Christ yeah, yeah. now. We can go boldly. I mean, we've got peace with God. We can say, Father, praise God. I, I, I'm here because I can come boldly before you. And I need your help. I need your peace. I need your strength. And God will be there. Can I hear an amen? amen. That's what he said. He said, I, you can go to the, uh, boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. Uh, and he never changes. Amen. Oh, we may change. I said we may change. The churches may change. The society may change. The world may change. And I'm serving someone here tonight and I'm going to stick with him because he'll never change. He said I'll be the same today and I'll be the same tomorrow. The same yesterday. What are you trying to say? The same Jesus that saved me yesterday. He's walking with me today. And the same Jesus that's walking with me today. He's going to lead me on. Amen. To the promise. Are oh, you listening to what I'm saying? Glory. I'll give him all the hands for that church. See, I'm going to stick with Jesus tonight. Amen. Amen. Because see, he made a new person out of me. So trouble with people today. They come to they come to Jesus. And I don't believe they have the right attitude. I don't really believe that they have the sorrow in their heart. See, the Bible said when we come to Jesus, we've got sorrow. I mean, that's what brings us to Jesus. Not because we got caught. I mean, a lot of people, you know, they, they, they could uh, uh, repeat everything because they got caught. The church, I didn't get caught. I had sorrow in my heart because I knew I had sin in my life. And the only one that could save me and the only one that could set me free and the only one that could change me was Jesus. And I come to Jesus, glory to God. And he made a brand new person out of me. I don't care what you was yesterday. Don't let the devil bring it up. It's what counts today. Can I hear that? I said it doesn't make no difference what you was yesterday when Jesus saved you, set you free and been a new person out of you. Don't let the devil come and knock you. I said, don't let the devil come and knock you because he will. Can I hear that man? I mean, I was a sinner, and I wasn't a, what you call a real bad sinner, but I was a sinner. I mean, there was a lot of people that committed a whole lot worse of sin than I. Amen. I think it was it Mary that had all the demons and, 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 uh, and she was a, a prostitute and everything else, I believe. But you know what? Jesus saved her. Yeah. Set her free. And the Bible said because of all of our sins. See, sometimes we have to be such a great sinner that we can appreciate what God's done Amen. for us. And the Bible says she took her hair. Amen. And she touched the tears in her eyes. And she began to wash the master's feet. You know why? Because when she come to Jesus, Jesus set her free. She recognized only Jesus could do that. And she has so much love for Jesus, church. We need people today that's in love with Jesus. I said we need people today that's in love with Jesus. You've got to love Jesus more than anything in your life. Oh, glory to God. But he made a new creature out of me. I hope he made a new creature out of you. Amen. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become. You know why? I've got Jesus inside of me. I said, I've got Jesus. The Bible says, he, I think how it goes. To, if any man be in Christ. See, you've got to be in Christ. You've got to remain in Christ. That God can do a work on you on the inside. That he can, that he can show it on the outside. Can I say that again? You've got to have Jesus on the inside. That he can show Jesus on the outside. Oh, oh you listen to what I'm saying, church. I thank God for Jesus tonight. And I'm sticking with Jesus. The world may turn their back upon Jesus. A lot of people that may go in a different direction. The church, I'm sticking with Jesus. How about you? Oh, glory to God. He made, he didn't make a new person at me. I, I can lay down at night and go to sleep. I said, I can lay down at night and go to sleep. He said, I couldn't do that, Brother Vester. 
because I was afraid when I was asleep that Amen Jesus would come back and I'd be left. Amen. Amen. I mean that was on my mind daylight and dark. Because I pray for Jesus to come back to church, I tell you, I thank God when I was a sinner, the see that the church that even the church people don't have no fear anymore. Church, let me tell you something. We gotta walk in fear of God. I believe a lot of people walk in more fear of God when they were sinners than when they become Christians. But church, I'm here to tell you, I love Jesus, and I know Amen. Jesus loved me, but I'm walking in fear of my church. And because the Bible tells me if I walk in fear, I'm not talking about fear of tripping. I'm walking in fear that if I mess up, or, amen, if I don't make it right with Jesus, I'm not going to go with Jesus. Amen. I'll give the Lord a hand clap, church. See, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15, or 17, 1 Corinthians 5 and 17, Therefore, if any man, any person, be in Christ, he's a new preacher. All things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Amen. Church, at one time, see, I, I, I want to explain why I seek with Jesus. Now, the Bible says, work your own salvation out. So I work my own salvation out every day. And now, this is not just a one day thing, it's an everyday thing. 24 hours, 7. Amen. I want to make sure I'm all right. When I wake up in the morning, I want to make sure I'm all right. I say, Jesus, help me along through the day. Amen. And trust me, tell you, I'm preaching a sin. I'm going to preach a sermon one night or one day on the sin of ignorance. A lot of people don't realize, a lot of people are walking in ignorance and they're, and they're, and they're angry at God. But that's, a, that's another story. But church, I'm here to tell you, I want to make sure that I'm ready to go with Jesus. Amen. And church, I want you to be ready for Jesus. Amen. Because church, let me tell you, uh, it's amazing to me a lot of church people anymore, and, and they don't preach sin. But I'm here to tell you, thank God we preach sin in some of these churches, praise God, that people are hungry for the Word of God and, and they're willing to change. But church, if you do the same thing when you got saved, you haven't been changed and you haven't been saved. Uh, are you listening to what I'm saying? How can a person come to the altar and go back and, and get up and go back into the same old sins that they did? They didn't get saved and they didn't get delivered and they need to come back to the altar and to stay until Jesus comes in and the Holy Spirit comes in and praise God there are different people. Can I hear an amen? Because God changed me and he's changed you. Oh, glory to God. But see, that I was a time I was walking in darkness. I said all that because I was in darkness. Church, if you were walking around in sin, before you got saved, you were walking in darkness. Right. You didn't see the light. You didn't see how Jesus loved you Amen. and how God loved you. Yeah. Or this is what I'm saying. But oh, thank God he opened up my eyes. When I come to Jesus, he took me out of darkness. And I saw just how sweet Jesus was. Amen. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. This is what it says. He says, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of our sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. I want you to know something. His blood, amen, he spread upon my life, and I was forgiven of all my sins. Yeah. That's why I'm sticking with Jesus. Because I'm no longer walking in bondage. I'm no longer walking in darkness. I'm walking in the light of Jesus. Lord, Amen. Amen. And I want you to know something tonight, church. One thing I'm sticking with Jesus. See, the Bible tells us. Now, see, uh, I'm an old man. I'm like old David. I'm like Brother Kelly and some of the others. See, we're some of us old people. We are, we are a, 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 a light. We are an example. We are pillars to the young people. Or you know, to the young Christian, you know why? Because we can tell them. Amen. See, the Bible said Jesus will meet every need that you have. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Amen. He may not answer what way you want to answer and everything, but he'll meet your need. Amen. You know, he won't give you your desires. But I hear the Bible Amen. says he'll give us a desire, but we gotta know how to ask for those Amen. desires. He's not gonna give you a Cadillac when you could when you could get along with a Volkswagen. Amen. Or a Chevrolet or a Ford. Can I hear an amen? amen. I'm here to tell you, church, I thank God Jesus has met my needs. Amen. And I said, I have never, I said, I have never begged for bread. The David said, I, I'm an old man now. He, and God has met every need that he has. Now, church has been skippy sometimes, but y'all want you to know something. He's always met my sister, my right. Not our wants, but our needs. Glory amen. to God. 
And then church, I want you to know he, that's why I stick with him because he's never let me down. He, right. David said, I'm an old man now, and I've never seen anybody but great bread. Uh, David didn't beg for bread, and we don't have to beg for bread. He'll right. meet our needs because the Bible says he'll supply every need, praise God, in Christ Jesus. That's why we're going to stay in Christ Jesus. Amen. I'm sticking with Jesus because he's going to meet my needs. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Now, God is a good God, and we've got to go by the word of God now. You think you can lay around and not work everything, he's going to meet your needs, you've got another thing coming. Because he gives you health and strength and everything else, that you can work and have a job, and that God can supply your needs by giving you the health and the strength to do it. Can I hear an amen? amen. Oh, amen. amen. See, the Bible tells us, and we're looking at the scriptures here, in Philippians chapter 14, or Philippians chapter 4, Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. But my God, see this, he's my God. Uh, people say he's your God if you want to. I'm going to say he's my God too. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He said, but my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory through a wife by Christ Jesus. Yeah. So if we've got Jesus, stick with Jesus, church. He'll never let you down. Amen. He never changes. Amen. He's always there to meet the need. I don't care what that need may be. He can be food. He can be health. He can be anything that we need. If we just look to Jesus Amen. and believe, praise God, that he'll meet our needs. He will meet our needs. Amen. If he knows in your heart that you're going to stick with him, he will supply that need. Amen. Oh, glory to God. He's now, he's now to God our Father. Be glory forever and forever. I was thinking about how he meets our needs. Yes, he does. Now the Bible tells us Elijah, God used him tremendously, and there was a famine. See, if we used to uh, don't live right, Israel, like our nation right now, is beginning to backslide and begin to turn away from God, and God had a cause of famine in there. A lot of people died because Amen. At the family. You know what it was? Most of it because of the rulers. Amen. That come up. Amen. And, and, and we got to be careful about the rulers we have because, church, we've got some people that are godly. God cannot bless an unruly nation and he'll cause favors and everything to come upon us. Can I hear an amen? But anyway, the Bible says that, he, that Elijah was told to go to a stream. And, he, and God supplies him. Now, church, he supplied Elijah with, with a stream of water and he had a of all things, I believe it was a, a I call it a buzzard. Raven. That's right. And he would bring him food every day. That's how God could supply our needs. But until then, he said that he began, the stream began to dry up, and the bird quit coming. And guess what? God said, I want you to go down. I talked to Sunday school this morning. The Holy Ghost is always on the move. And the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, told him to go down to meet a little old lady that had just two little sticks and a little bit of meal. Glory to God. Church, we got to stick with God because he always make a way for us. Amen. Amen. God calls him to be supplied all his needs by a woman with two sticks and a little bit of meal. Glory to God. And that's what, if he God has to, he'll, he'll make the barrel stay full of praise God until the real blessings come. Amen. Well, give it on a hand, church. A lot of people today, now church, there's times that I need to sit to my because you know when you are a leader, we have to go before the people. Do you think you've got problems? i got your problems plus my problems. Or you listen to what I'm saying? And sometimes uh, we have such a heavy burden and such sorrow, it's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to even, to, amen, if, if we keep our mind upon the problems, we lose our peace and we lose our joy. We lose our dance and everything. Are you listening to what I'm saying? But if I keep my mind upon Jesus, see, he's my author and he's my finisher. He's my supplier. And all I've got to do is, amen, is to keep on worshiping God. I have come to church sometimes so beat down. I'm just, I'm not, I'm just bragging on Jesus tonight, okay? Because all the years I've been pastoring, I have, we've been beat down and everything else. We have to come to church. Are you listen to what I'm saying? Put a smile upon her face and worship Jesus. But you know what, church? When I come in, glory to God, and begin to lift up my hands to Jesus, something begins to happen. That love begins to lift up. It's just a few minutes of rest. 
I mean, I enjoy coming to church yeah. because of a couple hours. Jesus takes that load up, glory to God, and gives me the supernatural strength and encouragement and gives me the joy. And church, after a while, he turned my sorrow into a dance. And church, I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed to dance because the Bible says that we need to dance before the Lord. If they would dance before the Lord, we can dance. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And when we get to heaven, we're going to really dance. I'll give the Lord a hand clap, too. Oh, hallelujah. See, there's times... We're going to have sorrow. We're going to have heaviness. We're going to have burdens. But it's what we do with them. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 30, verse 11. So many times he's turned my morning into dancing. Because I look to Jesus. Psalms 30, verse 11. Thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing. All you gotta do is keep grounded on Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how much sorrow and pain or what you're having? I believe if you come to church, and I believe you get your mind up on Jesus. And you don't have to come to church to have that. Yeah, I mean, you can be at home and you can feel if you feel so low, you have to look up to see Bob. Yeah. And you get your mind up on Jesus yeah. and think about the good things. Think about how good he is. Think about praise God one of these days it's going to be over with. Yes. I'm here to tell you after a while you begin, you begin to turn that sorrow and that morning into a dance and you forget about all the sorrow and all the pains and say I'm being with Jesus. Yes. I said I'm being with Jesus. Yes. Church I'm here to tell you I, I have faith my mother I'm going to stick with Jesus. Yes. How about you? Glory yes. to God. Yes. Verse 12 says to the end that my glory may say praises to thee and not be inside. Oh, Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. He didn't say we wouldn't have problems. But he said he would stick with us. Yes. Amen. I said, he said he'd be our strength. Amen. He'll, he'll lift us up like, like wings of an eagle. To give us the strength that we need. Praise God. But you know why I'm sticking with Jesus? In closing tonight, we sang that song a while ago. And I tell you, we're starting to put it a few more times. And if the people got their mind upon the Lord, think about what was about to happen. I'm talking about, I'm looking for that trumpet to say. I'm looking for that meeting in the air. Oh, you listen to what I'm saying, church. And I'm looking, amen, the Bible tells us, see, we can have peace. See, all we have to do is go to St. John chapter 14 in the time of our troubles and sorrows and everything. We've got to remember Jesus is coming back. Jesus Amen. is coming back after Amen. me. And I don't know about you. He's coming back after me. You know why? Yeah. Because I'm watching and I'm praying and I'm waiting. And you've got to do the same thing. You've got to work your salvation out because Jesus is coming back for those, amen, that are watching and those that are praying and those that are looking. And church, a lot of people today look at the church houses today. They're not praying and they're not seeking God and they're not looking for Jesus because if they would, they'd be at church worshiping and praising God and trying to get their children and loved ones in. But church, I'm looking for that sound. I, oh, you listen to what I'm saying. I'm praying that Jesus I'm, I have went away. I'm going to go away. In fact, he has went away. He said, I'm going to go prepare a place for you. I thank God he didn't say us. He said, ye. Yeah. It's a personal thing between you and God. Amen. I'm going to prepare a place for you. That for he said, if I go away, I'm going to prepare. prepare, prepare. I'll get down to me. Glory to God. Prepare a place for you. If I prepare a place for you, I will come again and to receive you unto myself. And where I am there, you may be also. Amen. Church, I'm sticking with Jesus. Amen. I said, I'm going, we sing that song, I'm going over with Jesus. That same thing that said, I'm sticking with Jesus. Amen. In my sorrows, I'm sticking with Jesus. Amen. When I'm on the mountain, I'm sticking with Jesus. Amen. When I'm in the valley, I'm sticking with Jesus. Amen. In my sorrow, I'm sticking with Jesus. In my storms, I'm sticking with Jesus. And when the wind blows and the whole way begin to move the past the ship aside, I'm here to tell you, I'm going to still keep my eyes up on Jesus because, like I said, I'm going to go, he's my author and he's my finisher of my faith. He's going to take me right on to the promised land. I'll give the Lord a hand clap. Praise God. It's the best song I've sung on my home. Yeah. It's going, to be, it's going to be our home, church. Some people call it paradise. Amen. Some call it heaven. But I, we're going to call it home. 
We finally got home. Place of rest. Place of peace. Would you stand tonight?